Hello everyone and welcome back to Snow Moon Games. So today we're at the end of The Sims 1 7 day gameplay. I did skip yesterday. I I have to film in between my work schedule and sometimes when you get home you just don't have the time. So like today I work 1 to 10. I literally have to start getting ready for work in like 20 minutes or so. So, I mean, I'm just throwing it in in between, so let's just jump in and unpause this. I don't even remember what we were doing. Where are we? We're sleeping. We're sleeping, and I think she finally got her promotion again, which means she finally is back into that job. Conspiracy. Um, let's make a potion. Um, some of this stuff I just, I like seeing. Uh, I probably will continue playing this game anyway. Just maybe not every single day like I did for almost seven days. It's not that I don't like The Sims 1, I do. A lot of this is just that... Let's drink this. I don't know what this is, but let's drink this. You got different kinds of potions. Um, let's zoom in on her and find out what this one does. Ooh! Ooh! What are we doing? Snatch it! <laughs> Please don't turn into a monster. Oh, no. She turned invisible. Invisible's fine. Invisible I can work with. Okay. What's her mood? Um, she's hungry. And she needs social. Knock on this. Have lunch. Since she's invisible, she really can't talk to anyone, but she can call people. Maybe. I don't know. Apparently she can't knock on the coffin wall. Um, call a neighbor. Um, Bella. Call. Talk. Use. What's wrong? Oh, she turned back. Good, because she's got to go to work soon. And go ahead and sleep for a little bit until you go to work. Since every day is a Monday, she works every single day in The Sims 1. Also, aging is not a thing. So if you have a child, they only go from baby to child. And what does that sound? Spork. I feel like they're... Oh, El Bondito's back. He's going to empty my trash can. Um, knock on this. What time do you go to work? I don't even remember. Uh, or it doesn't tell me. Apparently, it does not tell me. Oh, 11 p.m. So I have time to take a bath. So we'll do that. Uh... So there she goes off to work and now I have Bone Hilda cleaning house. Bone Hilda. She needs to water her plants over here before they die. Water and weed these suckers after work. Ooh, she's been promoted to tarot card reader. Branching out on your own to do more in-depth analysis of your customer's love life and family history is an interesting career change. Get to know your clients on a more personal level, up the aura of mystery in your personal appearance, and generally get away with being as odd as you'd like. Everyone expects it after all. Now we're 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. And... I brought 200 with a bonus of 400, so yay. Yeah, yeah, I cry. I guess I'll have to get to know clientele. Uh, what are we doing? Why are we performing magic back here? Oh, uh, well. But logically speaking, you still might need some practice. Okay. Okay, so she needs another charisma point. 
Um, that's so fun. Uh, practice speech. Uh, what are you gonna do? Slide? Okay. She's kind of been left alone to her own devices, hasn't she? I don't know if that's such a good thing in the Sims world. That dog just came in my house and freaking peed. I'm gonna have to put those up. Oh no, I forgot. You need to get up. You need to eat a snack. And go to work. The time change is going to be weird because you get on a routine and you get used to it and then when you get promoted and stuff then you're on a different time schedule so. Okay. Let's try something different. I know that her needs are not the best, but let's call a cab. Let's go. We've been to all these places. Let's go downtown. Yes. Yes. Let's go on downtown. We're gonna eat and everything, so let's go to some place that has a nice eatery. Um, I want to meet people. I remember this one and this one were always my two picks. I usually went to one or the other. This one had a nice eatery. This one had a nice eatery. This had shops. This one had shops. We'll go to this one. It's genuinely the one that you go to is those middle two for some reason. Me and my best friend did it all the time. Like you went to one or the other. First of all, if you get a guy, like you get a date. Oh, I like that outfit. You get a date and you bring them here. Then literally you guys can be in love before you leave if you time everything just right. My best friend used to do it all the time. Um... But she really needs social, so she kind of needs to eat with someone, but finding someone to eat with is not going to be easy. Unless you bring them down here to eat. Let's hang out. No. Uh, talk about interests. Uh, entertain with a puppet. Talk about interests. Um... Ask. Why not? We'll ask. Uh, he'll probably say no. Because you had to get your personality so high in The Sims. But why not? The worst he can say is no. It would kill their friendship at the moment, but whatever. <laughs> Is he really into it? Huh. Uh, yeah, so that, uh, that didn't go so bad. Um, uh, I'd, I've never had that go good. So let's talk about interest, entertain, entertain, uh, Flirt. Uh, let's flirt. Um, let's just check out. Are we on a date? Order food? Gut buster. Like, if they're on a date, they'll just come together. Oh, oh, they're on a date. They're on a date. This is going to be good. Maybe I can get a husband before I get out of here. We'll see. Her social's way up now. Why not?
Okay. Um, so this works funny. Uh, this is like time. You gotta do it just right. So if I remember correctly, like they come in, they get your order, and then you can talk to them. And I can change topics at any time if it looks like it's going bad. But you really can't do much in between this. Now, when their menus get picked up and they've done their first order, there's a gap where you can talk. <laughs> where you can uh, play footsie. Oh, like right now, play footsie. Um, admire. Like. Oh, he didn't like that. Um, admire. Mm. Uh, 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 Oh, a Fred Mac don't cow. Is a blue fan out. Oh, it's down in a row. It's a cut old girl. Ah, kiss. Why not? Oh, fan nuts, but I'll start. It could be that. Romantic kiss? Did I up it down? I did. Not too good with that one. Oh well. I did get him up kind of high. That wasn't bad. That was kind of fun. She has no energy, no fun, no no hygiene, and no bladder. But you know what? She's got a boyfriend. She's got a boyfriend. I don't know who he is. His name is Boris Towney. Hmm. Boris Towney, huh? Uh, I don't remember which one. This one's women's. So, use. Okay. Okay. Uh, say goodbye with a polite kiss. Well, go over here. Ask to come here. Say goodbye with a kiss on the cheek. Say goodbye with a polite kiss. You are going to do one of these things or we're not going home. Oh, that is too funny. Okay. Parting in such sweet sorrow. I hope to hear from you tomorrow. Ah, uh, go home now. That was kind of an uplifting fun day. Yes. Uh, go home so we can fix your hygiene and sleep. Oh ho. Oh ho. Take a shower. Knock on the store and sleep. Do I need anything else? Fun. But. Ugh. Uh, no, wake up. Yeah, well. It's three o'clock in the freaking morning. You're gonna have to call an exterminator. But you need some sleep, because holy crap. Ugh.
Okay. Services. I don't see exterminator. Um, use, um, shower, um, eat. Of course, you call when she's in the shower. Oh, have lunch. Services. I don't see exterminator. Um, knock on door. I don't worry about that. Uh, call. Uh, call neighbor. What was his last name? I don't even remember. County. Talk. Oh, he's at work. Have lunch. And then you can play on the computer until you go to work. Play. Perfect! She's in such a good mood. She just don't have her charisma up. So let's go get that charisma up while she's in a good mood before I send her to bed. There we go. So, use, take a shower, have breakfast, sleep. Recycle. Need some more energy. I hate that they put something on the counter and then they can't freaking do any actual cooking. Play this. Perfect. Use. And there we go. Now, we have excellent mood and she still doesn't go to work right now. So, why don't you call a neighbor. We will talk to Bella Goth because Bella Goth is always home right now. We'll just talk to her for a hot second. Then we will take a nap. And that way when we go to work, we'll be all happy. Uh, recycle that. Uh, have a snack. Can you tell her to brush her teeth in this one? I can't remember. Uh, yes. No. So she's feeling great and she went to work and she's got her everything required so she may get her promotion.
Now, in The Sims 1, it wasn't always something that was definite. You didn't always get a promotion when all these items were ticked off your little list. But, let's see if she can go on a date. somewhere. Invite downtown. Okay. He said, sure, you go. Yes. Um. Let's hear this one. Do 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 do. We're gonna try to go to different ones every time. What time is it? Oh, it's almost time for me to get ready for work. Okay. Breed. Because. Let's see if we can just high enough to be just peck on the cheek as soon as we get here. I don't know. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Nope. Funny, he's greeting her that way and she's like, uh, no. And now he's gonna do the same. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, so let's go get food because... We'll get the gut buster. Now I'll see if I can get it to work this time. She finally has love up. That's good. Okay, let's rotate this camera and get us a screenshot for the upload for sure. Okay, camera, right here. I have no idea who this Simi is. I have no idea what I am doing now. Because <laughs> I don't. I don't. But I thought it would be fun to have, like, this end on a positive note. Or this playthrough. I won't necessarily say I won't ever play her again. I probably will. Okay, talk while you order. Cuddle. No? Admire? Yes, admire. I don't need it down that low. He's probably married. She's just being really complaining and picky. Admire and cuddle. Let's try that. There we go. Um, kiss? Let's try these two. Alrighty then. He he Cuddle. Can we take it up a notch? It didn't do too bad. We're 94 over 15. That's not bad. Mm. 
Um, there's a way to invite them back to your house. Maybe we can woohoo for. I don't even know if you woohoo in this game. Are we stuck until they take my ice cream? Are they coming to get my ice cream? Are we completely stuck forever? Hello? We didn't do this. Well, then let me. Well, is he stuck? It's very possible. Call cab, go home. He's stuck. He's not coming out of that booth. That's okay. She's tired. She needs to go home. He's just going to sit that booth until she gets going. Wow. <laughs> Not that I'm surprised. It happened all the time in this game. But we're going to end it on this note. We're going to get her back to her house. We're going to tell her to go to the bathroom, take a shower, and go to bed. Well, go to, go take a, go to the bathroom, go to bed, and then take a shower. I should reiterate, she's going to pass out if I have her get a shower. Not that it's a bad thing. I've done it before. Uh, go pee pee. Because I'd prefer you like go pee pee in the potty chair. And then you can fix that in the morning. Okay, it first. Uh, wake up. Can we really go to bed, please? Thank you. And that will conclude my seven days of The Sims 1 excursion. Um, yeah, I'll go back to it. I'll go back to it. Uh, I don't know what else to do, though. I guess we could play The Sims 2 for seven days, starting tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe that's what we'll do. Um, and keep going for The Sims anniversary. We'll do Sims 1, Sims 2, and Sims 3, and that'll be the end of the month. So, go ahead and leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, and I will see you in the next video, I also have unboxings on a daily basis and gaming. So, yeah, have a great day and keep on simming. Bye.